Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Want to take you guys through some fantastic PC game deals that are available as Green Man Gaming, our good friends, have just refreshed their holiday sale and added some great deals. And as always, they've had some great stuff running. So we'll take a look at some of the stuff they have. Not everything, but some of the stuff. And want to give you guys a run through of the various Humble Bundles that are available right now. So we'll get to that in a little bit. But first of all, Marvel's Midnight Suns. Bear in mind. This game came out less than a month ago. I believe it was December the 2nd or the 8th. So if it was December 2nd, it was exactly a month ago. If it was the 8th, it was a little under a month ago. Uh, nonetheless, it's a very recent release and it is 41% off for $35.37. I don't know how this game is doing commercially, but... um. It's a game done by Firaxis, who have also done the XCOM games, which, by the way, we'll get to in a second, and it's a fairly decent game. I'm kind of marveled out at this point. Like, I've played a lot of Marvel stuff and just been exposed to a lot of Marvel recently. That Midnight Suns kind of took a little bit of a backseat for me. What I did play of it, I enjoyed. Like, you know, Firaxis working on a tactical title, it's gonna turn out to be pretty good. Um, there's narrative elements that aren't as strong, and they do have a card game gimmick uh, going on with this game, but nonetheless... For this price, if you have any interest in this game, like, this is such a good price that, uh, I feel like you should probably just check it out if you do have a, a level of interest that warrants, you know, spending over $30 on a game, just because, you know, uh, with PC gaming, I usually recommend, you know, on the budget side of things, but given that this is such a recent release, like, I had to give it a mention. Speaking of Firaxis, gotta give XCOM 2 the collection a shout. This is just a disgustingly good deal. 93% off at $7.04. This gets you all the XCOM 2 content. So you get XCOM 2 and you get War of the Chosen. And there's a couple of other DLC packs as well. But uh, XCOM 2 and War of the Chosen are the big ones. And War of the Chosen extends the game quite a bit. Uh, bit. This is a very, very well-made tactical title. And, you know, these style of games in general aren't usually my cup of tea. But XCOM Enemy Unknown was the one that really got me into XCOM in general. And XCOM 2 builds upon that really well. Had some technical issues initially, but a lot of that has been remedied, so I would say if you're a fan of Tactics title, go check it out, and even if you're not, give this a look, because it's 704, and for the amount of content that you're getting, the replayability in this game is really good, and it's fairly accessible. Like, I, I think if you're not that good at tactics titles, you can still find enjoyment out of XCOM 2. Like, they ease you into it, and, uh, you know, it's not that difficult to figure out once you get going. So, yeah, that, uh, good price there. Next up, Dying Light Definitive Edition. $8.60 for this. Obviously, I've been pretty vocal about the fact that while I like Dying Light 2, Dying Light 1 is without a doubt the stronger title. It's just a really well done game, man. I remember when this game came out back in January of 2015. It was kind of one of those games a lot of people flocked towards just to see how good it looked and if they're, how well their PC could run it because it was a really, really well optimized game from my recollection. And uh, yeah, that has only held true. And Techland obviously is such a fantastic studio in terms of keeping their games updated and they did that abundantly so with Dying Light 1. They did such a tremendous job in keeping this game fresh content filled, et cetera, et cetera. 864 is a great price. So if you haven't checked it out, go do so. It is also playable on the Steam Deck. So if you want to play it on that, that is an option as well. I believe it's fully verified. Yeah, it is Steam Deck verified. So you can totally play it on there. I haven't had a chance to try out Dying Light 1 on the deck, but uh, yeah, I'm sure it's pretty good uh, given how well this game runs in general. Next up, Risk of Rain 2, 59% off for 1025. This is a game that I remember when I initially played it, I couldn't get into it as much as some other people. And then one of my boys got me to give it another shot. And then we got really, really into it and this is a very very addicting game I would recommend you to play this game with a couple of friends but yeah it's a really good title I remember when it initially came out in early access they were doing like a buy one get one free gimmick with it and um you know to get people playing it cooperatively but a lot of fun, very, very addicting, can get challenging at times, but overall a really solid title. And for 1025, I think it's pretty good. If you can uh, convince a couple buddies to pick it up, uh, that's a good shout as well. Next up, Resident Evil 2, uh, the remake, $8.70. You guys know what I feel about this. I wasn't big uh, on Resident Evil 2 growing up. It's just, it was a little bit before my time uh, as far as playing Resident Evil. RE4 was the one that me and many others I know uh, got really got into Resident Evil after that. But Resident Evil 2, this remake is tremendous, and everybody that was a big fan of the original just uh you know uh, just raves about how well done this remake is and from a newcomer not a newcomer in the sense i played resident evil 2 but it's not like i got super into it and i didn't play it when it initially came out so essentially a newcomer um not somebody that was won over by a lot of nostalgic elements resident evil 2 is just a fantastic and well-made game 
Great atmosphere. Obviously, it's not super lengthy. You can't go into a Resident Evil game expecting that. But man, quality and a get in, get out, that sometimes is what you need given how big some of your guys' backlogs are for $8.70. Great price here. Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch Remaster, $6.45 for this. A very artistic, well designed RPG here. Great story, charming cast of characters, and obviously a fantastic visual style and aesthetic style in general with that Studio Ghibli look to it. Um, you know, $6.45, great price on this. So definitely give that a look. Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen, 86% off for $4.17. Challenging action RPG, it's Dragon's Dogma. Like, I'm, I'm pretty sure most of you guys are familiar with it by now, but, um, yeah, I know some people that couldn't get into it, but this is a game that definitely has a lot of content, is pretty replayable, and, of course, Dragon's Dogma 2 is in development right now, so if you want to check this one out for $4.17, that's pretty good. Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition, if you're an XP member, that's $2.55. Again, another game I rave about. $2.55 for this game is ridiculous. We're probably never going to get a Sleeping Dogs 2, but hey, if you haven't played the Definitive Edition, this is such a great pickup and well worth it. I've completed this game a a lot of times. I've I, I've lost count of how many times I've completed this game. Probably just shy under like how many times I've completed Assassin's Creed 4. But nonetheless, great game, great main character, great combat in this game as well. Decent bit of content and uh, very good music in this game as well. So 255, good pick up there. Uh, XP members can get Wolf Among Us for 79% off for 319. I go back and forth on whether or not I like Walking Dead Season 1 or Wolf Among Us more as far as Telltale titles go. Sometimes I lean towards Wolf Among Us. That might be because I played this game more recently than Walking Dead. Um, although both games I played so, so long ago. But nonetheless, Wolf Among Us was really good. There is a follow-up being done. Uh, so that's really exciting. I mean, it's a, it's been a long time coming for Wolf Among Us to get a sequel. This game came out back in 2013. So like a decade later, we're finally getting a follow-up. A more mature, gritty narrative here as well. Great main character just an awesome main character and really well done 319 is a great pickup here and then i also want to give a shout to tales of berseria this deal's stupid good 91 percent off for four dollars and 30 cents great tales of title tales of arise took the tales of franchise to another level in terms of technical uh the technical performance and whatnot the visuals Berseria is still so, so good. One of the more compelling main characters you're going to get out of a JRPG in general. I often talk about how much I like Vesperia's main character, but Berseria's is a totally different style, a darker main character. Um, but she has reason to be this, like, gloomy character. A lot of stuff goes down within the first portion of the game that makes Velvet the way she is. But uh, nonetheless, $4.30 is great. Um, a very good story all in all in this game as well. Definitely a strong recommendation here with Tales of Berseria. Last Lastly, a couple of humble bundles to quickly reiterate. The Essential Content Creator Bundle is still live. It's Vegas Pro 18 and a bunch of other stuff for $25. It's well worth your money if you're looking to get into video editing, content creation, anything like that. Because outside of Vegas Pro 18, you get Magic's Music Maker, you get SoundForge, Movie Studio, and some other stuff as well. It's just great value. Don't be spending hundreds of dollars on Vegas. That's like just not the right move, but uh, $25, that's pretty good. There's also Unity and Unreal RPG Essentials Pack, so if you want to get into that, that's an option, and then the Unreal Engine Ultimate Game Dev Assets Pack, uh, the Beat the Average, it actually has Beat the Average, it's twenty five sixteen, and it'll get you a lot of stuff for Unreal Engine if you're looking for assets for that, but that'll do it for me. Again, links to everything, as always, in the description box below. Remember, they are affiliate links, so if you buy anything, I do get a kickback, and that's much appreciated with the Humble bundles if you buy anything you can literally set my slider to zero you don't have to give me a penny if you do want to kick me back a couple cents that's much appreciated but you can give uh, the majority of the money to charity and all that good stuff so that'll do it for me let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below as always guys thanks for watching and i will catch you guys in the next one peace out Hey, what's going on, guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.